Once we have a model in Fusion 360, we can very quickly generate a working orthographic drawing of our product. So we have our finished model. If we click on the design button in the top left, we can scroll down to drawing and then select from design. We're going to do um, a drawing of the full assembly. So if I choose A2, so it'll fit on. And then if we click on OK, it'll produce our layout for us. And we can then choose what scale, if I'm going to go for 1 to 2, so it fits on the paper nicely. Um, I can then choose what face I want as my main um, image and what style. And then I can click OK and I can move that around the page to where I want it to be. So there's my base image. I can then create my orthographic views. So if we click on the Drawing Views icon in the top um, left, we can then select our base image and just roll out and click the views we want and it will place them in an orthographic position. If you drag it down diagonally, um, then it will also produce an isometric projection of your model. If we click on the tick to end this process, we can then edit how we view each one of these. So we can change the scale of that individual isometric, for example. Um, and change the rendering and how it's presented. So we close that. We can also drag and move them around the page. So we can also choose not to view um, the hidden lines. If we click on the title block, we can also edit the details in there. So if we right click and go to edit, we can change the titles and the drawing number um, and all the information on there. We can then click on finish properties to return back to the rest of the drawing. So we have our orthographic layout and our isometric drawing there in the corner. We can start now adding in dimensions and labels. And another beauty of CAD packages is it'll dimension everything automatically. So we don't have to type in our sizes. We can just select which dimensions we want to include. We can also create a leader arrow and type our own labels in. Once we're happy with our annotation, we can then output this to a different type of file. So for example, a PDF. And we can download that to our one of our local drives. It can also be really useful to have individual working drawings of um, components. So when we select our um, new drawing, instead of having full assembly, we can select individual components um, to produce drawings of and then just set it up in exactly the same way as we did with our whole assembly.